Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of Practical PowerPoint Animation Series, you will learn how to create hover over effect in PowerPoint. The effect you will learn to create today looks like this. This is the image of Taj Mahal. Now, when I hover over the image, you can see that it gives some facts about Taj Mahal. So when I hover over that one, it gives gets me back to the image and it keeps going that way. Let us see how to create this hover over effect. Though this effect is not strictly an animation, it is a mouse over effect action. The reason why we have create we have included this in PowerPoint animation series is because it looks like animation. All right. So let us go to how to create this uh, effect from scratch. What I have done is I have included, I, mean, I have created a rectangle here, filled it with the image of Taj Mahal. And I have created another slide where I have written some facts about Taj Mahal. So these are two separate slides and I have kept them here one after another. You, you have all the option to uh, you have total liberty to keep the second slide wherever you want for now let us have these two slides one after another so i'll just show you so this is the one that we are going to be working on and this is the next slide okay so let us go to this slide now let me show you how to apply the hover over effect from scratch i want to go to the next slide when I take my mouse over this. So I'm going to click on this object. The next step is to go to insert and here in this tab you will see this option called as action. Click on it. You have two options here. One is mouse click and the other one is mouse over. You click on hyperlink to you have the option to link it to any slide here. Say for example, if you want to link it to a specific slide, you can go to this option. In this case, we just want to link it to the next slide. So mouse over, hyperlink to next slide and click OK. So this is done. The next thing is we go to the next slide. We take this, this is a group because I have written this text separately and grouped it. So you will not see that action button there. So you click on one of the elements here, the rectangle and go to action and this time mouse over hyperlink to this time previous slide and click OK. And there it is. I go to this when I hover over. It goes to the next one, hover over this, it goes to the previous one. So that is how the whole uh, effect works. Now, whenever you create something of this nature, it is also important for you to have some kind of an action button here that takes you to the logical next slide. Otherwise, say when people click on this slide, it will anyway take them to the next slide. So the whole thing will get messy if uh, you don't include that action button that takes you to the logical next slide. The slide that we want to go to after we do the hover over effect is this one which happens to be an example template from our uh, advanced animation templates pack. So I am going to link this to that slide. How am I going to do that? Go to home, go to auto shapes menu, under action buttons, click on this one which happens to be for forward or next, click on it and then drag it here and that creates the action button and it hyperlinks to you can go to the option here slide and you can see the preview of all the slide titles here we want to go to this one called as give and take which happens to be this slide and say ok and ok again now I don't really like this uh, blue thing here so I go to shape fill and say no fill and shape outline Sorry, um, maybe I need to go to specifically this one, go to shape fill, white fill 
and shape outline no outline and now when I go to this and click I can go to the relevant slide so that is how we uh, create the hover over effect I wish to show you some example templates taken from our custom animation packs um, which show you the power of animation because this is a practical PowerPoint animation series and uh, we wish to show you some examples from our animation pack. Here we wish to show you three ways in which a simple concept like give and take can be represented using custom animation. The first example is this one which shows one entity and then on click you have the second entity and one one action you have an arrow which shows what is being given and another arrow which shows what is being taken so that is one way to represent give and take relationship let me show you another example this one is about exchange of value when you do the give and take and this is a little more dramatic than the one that we have seen earlier the first one shows the value that is being offered second click you have another value that is being offered and these need to be exchanged and we get that done by having a click so they are both exchanged and this is the value exchange that happens here let me show you another example this one is about continuous give and take relationship the first one shows one entity another click the second entity and then the give and take relationship shown by this so these are some of the ways in which you can show the concept of give and take. The reason why we showed this is many people think that custom animation is purely um, for decorative purpose. We believe that you can convey your concepts very clearly using, given, using uh, custom animation. If you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create elaborate custom animation to explain your concepts, you can always take a look at off-the-shelf solutions like our 630 plus advanced custom animation templates for PowerPoint. The pack has more than 630 highly advanced ready-made custom animation templates. To create a custom animation slide, all you need to do is to pick up a template, replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality animated slides has never been easier. Hope you like the tutorial on creating the hover over effect in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials, if you want to read articles that improve your presentation skills or PowerPoint skills, or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you've just seen, please visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.